Good afternoon, this is your latest video update on Tropical Storm Jalawat, which intensified from a tropical depression uh, late last night. It continues to move across the Philippine Sea very slowly now, uh, again intensifying to a severe tropical storm and earning the international name of Jalawat, which is a type of fish found in Malaysia and Indonesia. Still has the local name of Lawin, uh, given by Pagasa. It's last located approximately 660 kilometers east southeast of the city of Virak in Catanduanes, or roughly 540 from the island of 540 kilometers uh, east of the island of Samar. Maximum sustained winds are now up to 95 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 100 and uh, kilometers per hour. Maximum uh, moving. West southwestward at 15 km per hour, so it has slowed down substantially, allowing the core to consolidate and uh, improve in terms of the organization. Looking at the visible satellite image, and you can see the core of the system still remaining east of Visayas, uh, starting to show um, more imp much improvement in terms of outflow and an also convective activity but it hasn't really been able to establish much in terms of the um, central dense overcast just yet looking at the microwave image you can see the um, banding there is still improving banding in terms of convective activity but the core of the system again the core of the convection is still somewhat displaced to the west of the uh, of the center of the system which is located over here and you can see much of the convection is uh, found on the western side of um, the center of Jalawat. Expect that to slowly improve in the next few days. Again, very warm waters, weak wind shear, so allowing the system to continue intensifying for the next two to three days. Also, looking at the latest infrared image, again, we're, show we're seeing some hot towers forming, strong convective activity right near the center. But again, the central dense overcast not really looking uh, that great yet. The equatorial outflow is improving, but the poleward outflow is still not very good at the moment. Nevertheless, uh, Japan Meteorological Agency has upgraded the system to a severe tropical storm and expecting to continue intensifying, perhaps becoming a typhoon by as early as uh, tomorrow evening or perhaps Sunday morning. Now, in terms of the movement, and the system has slowed down and is continuing to move west southwestward and under the influence of this fairly entrenched subtropical ridge uh, anchored right uh, over the North Pacific well east of Japan uh, right now and again influencing the system to move uh, on a west southwesterly course and also slowing down the slowdown in forward speed means that the uh, strength of the ridge or at least the influence of the ridge is starting to weaken as was forecasted yesterday a trough moving in from eastern China will continue to move eastward and will continue weakening the subtropical ridge allowing this uh, allowing Jalawat to slow down and eventually actually stall and stay in this region in the Philippine Sea for at least another two days there are still some uncertainties, in fact, very, very large uncertainties in terms of computer model forecasts. Here you can see the latest forecast from the computer models showing you a track anywhere from Luzon to Japan, actually. Here we have the green line representing the Navy model, the Nogops model, taking Jalawat actually towards uh, eastern Luzon, perhaps through um, Aurora by the middle of next week red line here represents the GFS model a fairly straightforward solution uh, taking Jalawat to Taiwan as a very strong typhoon by either Tuesday or Wednesday now this purple line over here is forecast from the Canadian model as you can see it, it diverges well away from the consensus as actually taking Jalawat to the northeast now it's showing this solution because there is an erroneous uh, interaction with another cyclone that could develop near Guam in the next three days. So why don't you show you Canadian model? This is uh, 24 hours from now, and you can see the circulation of Jalawat. Fast forward to Sunday morning, 
and you can see this Jalawat intensifying and another circulation forming west of Guam by Sunday and in fact by Monday you can see both of them actually intensifying and sort of having a direct cyclone interaction or Fujiwara effect and by Wednesday this strong system will enhance uh, will uh, if impact or at least uh, affect Jalawat's, Jalawat's uh, forecast track in fact bringing Jalawat to the northeast another very good model the European model is showing nearly the same thing you can see this by Saturday this is Jalawat circulation and by Sunday morning intensifying Jalawat and by Monday and you can see the European model showing another weak circulation forming and by Tuesday both of them intensifying and again showing that interaction between those two circulations and by uh, Wednesday morning both of them were strong enough to at least become a typhoon perhaps impacting again uh, directly enhancing the uh, indirect directly affecting Jalawat's movement and by Thursday morning this system will likely pull Jalawat to the uh, northeast perhaps towards uh, Japan by the uh, latter part of next week so again we're having the differences in model forecast because some of the models are forecasting this convection you're going to develop into another tropical cyclone perhaps impacting Jalawat's movement now as long as this doesn't develop we expect Jalawat to continue moving northwestward now, if it does develop in the next few days could probably see some sort of Fujiwara effect again depending on the strength and the distance between these two future systems but as of right now the forecast agencies aren't buying the uh, solution the Europe and the Canadian are showing and again lo looking at the JMA's forecast actually bringing Jalawat to the northeastern part of Luzon by Tuesday or Wednesday also forecasting Jalawat to become a typhoon in the next uh, two days Pagasa also showing nearly the same thing forecasting continued west southwestward movement and then a turn to the northwest perhaps uh, brushing the northeastern part of Luzon perhaps Cagayan or Isabela uh, by Monday or Tuesday finally we have the joint typhoon warning centers forecast again showing nearly the same idea that the past two agencies are showing forecasting it turn to the northwest by the early part of next week also forecasting Jalawa to become a category 3 typhoon uh, by Wednesday morning as it nears uh, the northeastern tip of Luzon so as of right now it does seem the consensus among the, the forecast agencies is to bring Jalawat to the northwest supported by a number of computer models now we will continue watching this area of convection near Guam because if it does develop it could impact Chilawat's movement and uh, again that idea is supported by the Canadian and the European model so again a very wide range of, uh, of ideas and forecasts among the computers so again, anywhere from Visayas to Luzon to Taiwan to the Ryukyu Islands and even to the southern mainland Japan should continue watching Jalawat's movement in the next few days the system will slow down in the next two days so very weak steering flow any changes or any wobbles could definitely impact the overall track of the system something that will need to be watched in, uh, in the next few days as the system evolves that concludes our video update for today continue to check out Pegasus latest forecasts don't have any signal warnings just yet we expect them to continue watching uh, Jalawat or Lawin. Perhaps they could issue some signal warnings tonight or perhaps tomorrow, depending on the uh, depending on the um, how close Jalawat will get across the um, eastern part of uh, the Philippines. Also, check out the Japan Meteorological Agency for the latest official warnings on this system. And you can also check out our blog as well, also at westernpacificweather.com. 
for the latest forecasts and also video updates from our meteorologist Robert Spanner. Stay safe guys, bye bye.